when I first heard Mandrical Mystery Tour, I have to guess that I was somewhere around 10 years old. So I knew what being high was in concept, although I had never been high, right? But listening to Magical Mystery Tour front to back on cassette tape on headphones was the trippiest thing I'd ever done in my life up until that point. And I think part of the thing that sold me on the Beatles so quickly was just how different I felt after listening to it. Like it put me in a different headspace. It got my own creativity sparked just by listening to what these guys were doing and all the songs were so unique and different and you could just go over the lyrics and try to come up with what they were trying to get at, especially on songs like I Am The Walrus and Strawberry Fields Forever. Seriously trippy stuff. <laughs> 